our next performer tonight is Lindy Vanestas. Yeah. It's very exciting because she's making her performance. We have another performance debut tonight. Um, Lindy has been integral to women's stand up since its inception, since really since the first set of auditions, uh, even before the first show. And then she's been at every show since then. Um, if you've, well, tonight she, she greeted you at the door and she's done that at every show. And she's also worked the spotlight, um, promoted the show, taken photos, you name it. And so recently she has been trying her own hand at stand-up comedy, so please give her a very warm welcome. Wow. Lindy. Thank you for supporting live stand-up comedy. And wow, these guys are tough to follow, but hey, um, so yeah, I've loved doing this show, and um, I'm a vegan, and most people, well, outside of Uptown anyway, <laughs> don't know what that means. So I don't eat or use animal-based products, and I do it really because I love the sympathy. <laughs> you mean, you don't even eat cheese? <laughs> I was brought up a Norwegian Lutheran. No, that means I don't eat jello marshmallow salad. <laughs> or lutefisk. <laughs> sacrifices. I know. Being a Lutheran means, you know, you make a lot of sacrifices. And uh, you're passive aggressive also. <laughs> My Facebook status once was beef. It's what's rotting in your colon. <laughs> so veganism is like the opposite of uh, making sacrifices. I mean, have you ever heard of a sacrificial lamb's ear? How about sacrificial cowpoke? Or dogwood? <laughs> I'm pretty passive. I mean, I vote with my fork and my hemp wallet. <laughs> when there's anything in it. <laughs> but um, I don't, I try not to give my friends a hard time. Actually, I am the only person that I know that is a vegan or a vegetarian, so. Um, but I do volunteer. Mer May Day, I uh, carried a flag in the parade that said, Go Green, Go Veg. And a woman ran up to me and she said, Go soybean monoculture! Go soybean monocrops! <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> so, um, so I also, I also don't understand animal testing, you know, I mean, as animals, I don't know when they have a headache. How do you know when they have a headache? Spot, do you have a headache again? Here, this time, try the Exeteran. Is that better? So, um, but, um, you know, I am the only one that I know, and my friends are kind of mean about my vegan choice. Wow. <laughs> One was eating a slice of sausage pizza, <laughs> and she said, mmm, tasty, tasty, mmm, murder. <laughs> you know what, I can get the same thing at Galactic Pizza, and, um, you know, being a vegan, you're kind of a pain in the ass. Could I please have the soy cheese with the vegan sausage and hold the carnage? <laughs> so, um, but my mom and my grandma and I were at a nice restaurant one time and they picked up their fork and their knife and they started banging out a chant. We want meat! We want meat! We want meat! <laughs> so, what are you, four? <laughs> They're coming around, I can tell. So, um, but um, my friend, Tasty Tasty Murder, she taught me to always name your homemade soup after what you're thinking about. And uh, one night I was cooking and a neighbor came by to tell me that 
He can hear my TV after 10 o'clock at night. I don't own a television. I called it Nookie Noodle Soup. <laughs> so I've been told that because I'm a vegan, I'm undateable. Obviously not. <laughs> but what's more perfect? I mean, you know I'm not going to order lobster, right? Hmm, apparently I'm a cheap date. But um, yes, I'd love the soup du jour. So, um, <laughs> thank you. A fellow volunteer told me that it's, it's okay to date a non-vegan. Convert them break up, repeat. 